With the peak of hurricane season happening during October, the threat of Hurricane Milton became very real and dangerous for residents, producing 126 tornado warnings, the highest number of tornado warnings issued in Florida in one day. The aftermath was devastating. Residents in Florida are no strangers to hurricanes. Yet, in the aftermath of Hurricane Milton, evacuee residents like myself are now facing flooding, gas shortages, and power outages, leaving over 3 million without electricity. So after evacuating and coming back to the house, one of the most noticeable things that we can see um, damage-wise from the hurricane is our fence. As you can see, fences aren't normally standing like that. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we have work to do regarding our fence. For Mark, who was born and raised in St. Petersburg, there is no getting used to living under constant destructive weather. I've lived under the threat of hurricanes my entire life. It's been a trying time the last two to three weeks. I couldn't even talk. It was so sad, all the things that had happened in our neighborhood. But in a prompt response to reach out to residents impacted by the destruction of Hurricane Milton, the Church of Christ stepped in. Responding promptly to this great need, members put together care packages filled with essential items, food, cleaning supplies, and other items. And these goods were distributed to residents at the Treasure Island Community Center. We very much appreciate the community outreach of so many organizations, such as yours, who have come to help the residents here uh, recover. That's been wonderful. This is fantastic, giving us water, feeding us, helping people with their cleaning buckets and everything. I love it. Thank you so much. This is fantastic tell how lovely all of you are. This has just, just touched my heart today, meeting all of you. That's very kind, and you're doing the right thing for our community, and I'm very thankful. This activity is a blessing, and I appreciate everything you guys done. You guys, it's a truly a blessing to this community. Through this Care for Humanity event, residents felt support from the Church of Christ. Yet, this wasn't the first time. Yet the Church of Christ was able to respond, extending assistance and care to residents in the St. Petersburg region, putting together care packages of non-perishable foods and daily essentials. I am just overwhelmed by what was brought to us. So, so thank you, thank you. Esta actividad les agradezco mucho. Tienen un corazón muy bueno ustedes. Sacar el tiempo y venir y pensar en nosotros y ayudarnos y darnos un, un momento de consuelo, de apoyo, de coraje. Because of the great need, uh, our executive minister, Brother Eduardo Manalo, decided that we would offer great help to our fellow man and to help in uh, restoring the lives of people here in the state of Florida who were affected by the recent hurricanes. Thank you, bless you. We really do appreciate from the bottoms of our hearts. Brother Eduardo, thank you so much during your birthday month to help this community out. Uh, we do appreciate it. If you ever are here, please stop by. We want to thank you in person. We are just blessed that you chose our community to help. So thank you. The tireless outreach efforts of the Church of Christ through the Care for Humanity Project continues as members unite worldwide with its efforts. Treasure Island stands as a testament of its unwavering commitment in ensuring our fellow men receive help, especially in times of great need and during calamity. From Treasure Island, Florida, I'm Cassandra Gallion for Worldwide Ling Up Samamamayan Special Coverage.